Well, I think before we go doom and gloom, let's step back. I think, I believe that AI, in the short term, we can say it's tremendously overhyped with all the sensation around it. Mm -hmm. But in the long term, I think mostly understated. So first, I think it's going to be a tremendously beneficial thing to all of us. But like anything that becomes very beneficial, gets a lot of power around it, has to have responsibility. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the dialogue we're all having. That what is that responsibility? What guardrails do we put? How do we put controls around it? How do we manage it? And I think that's a serious dialogue to be had because it'll take many years for it to get to the right place. Well, can you give us a little bit of color on what kind of guardrails, regulation that we should be thinking about? We see these, you know, headline words all the time, but it's really difficult to wrap your head around what guardrails look like when it comes to AI. But I think look, if you look at three things in particular, first of all, Imagine all of us, with the help of AI, can become tremendously different human beings. All of us could be programmers. You could just use AI tomorrow and write basic programming. Or you could become tremendously powerful analysts, right? so on and so forth. Uh, I think the guardrail is around, first of all, what can it do and what's the ethics? What's the ethics around AI? I mean, like, it's going to have data on all of us. So how do we put controls around it that it's doing it in an ethical way? Yeah. Second, it should it become more powerful than us human beings? Is it serving us mm -hmm. or are we becoming subservient to it? And I think that's going to be a tremendous discussion. And third one is that, gee, can it do things that we haven't imagined? And how do we kind of put some thinking around it? So it's going to be those kind of three things that we have to think yeah, about. Yeah, I mean, all of those seem to be, again, philosophical questions because it comes back to ethics and ultimately you're going to have I guess, an arbitration committee determining what the ethics of this artificial intelligence should be. But then when it comes to more I guess, administrative aspects, you've got to think about perhaps licensing restrictions so that not everybody has access to artificial intelligence, or at least you know that the people you license it to are going to be responsible actors. What about the fallback option of always having a human on standby just in case things go off the rail? I mean, it's a great question you ask. But, but I think if you almost step back, AI by itself is not going to be that powerful. AI, with the help of data, is going to be very impactful. So I think we have to be very thoughtful who has access to data yeah. and how can they use data with AI to do something. And I think that will become very important. You know, what about corporations? What about governments? What about individuals? So I think AI by itself does nothing. Living the world of data, I can tell you, without data, there's going to be no AI. And I think that's where we have to go to the source of who has access to what yeah. and how do we put guardrails around it. And that's going to be important for corporations and government to work together. 